Hey guys, welcome back to the show today. For those of you who are new to the channel, thanks for joining me. Please make sure that you subscribe here and share this information out to whoever is wanting to look for more information on how to keep their musculoskeletal system healthy and prevent any chronic problems with their musculoskeletal system. So my name is Kim Narker and I'm the host of the Stretch Mobility Coach Show and I'm also the founder of the Stretch Mobility Coach and the Stretch Method. And today I'm going to be talking about are your feet ready for sandals. Guys, all of us know that the weather coming up, the summertime, we love to wear flip-flops and sandals and those cute little flat shoes and Honestly, I love getting new shoes. My husband tells me all the time how I have way more shoes than what I need, but I don't know. I really, really enjoy making sure that I have the latest trends in shoes and footwear, but not unlike you, I'm getting into my middle ages and I have foot pain and knee pain if I don't wear the correct footwear, and I am absolutely not going to those foot stores to get these clunky orthopedic shoes that don't look cute. I, if you know me well at all, I am a preventative person by nature. And if I see something coming on, I'm going to prevent it and make a change. I am not going to just sit back and let things happen because in my research and my education, I know that pain and tightness are not typical and you can reverse them. So in today's show, when I'm talking about are your feet ready for sand? I really want to discuss some different types of shoes, really help you understand so that when you go shopping for shoes or you experience pain or tightness, you really understand what's going on so that you can seek care to get the results that you are looking for. More and more people are struggling with our healthcare system because our healthcare system is here to handle health care catastrophic things that that could cause us to not live to die and our health care system is there for that reason and they do a really really good job of that those of you who are suffering with health and wellness issues with your musculoskeletal system meaning you have pain or you have tightness and it's not going away and you feel like the healthcare system is not helping you at all, it's because they're not meant to help you. The healthcare system, physical therapy, and the entire system that we have is not a proactive care system. It is there to make sure that you can move and you can do some things, but not there to help you live a life without limits. A stretch mobility coach was developed to help you live your life without limits. So let's dive into this topic today. So I brought some shoes from home. I have to say, I got these flip-flops last year and they're a Sanuk, S-A-N-U-K, and they're a yoga mat. And these flip-flops are amazing. They feel so good on my feet and I want to wear them all the time. The problem with this is that I have overpronation, which means that my midfoot, my ankle collapses inward. And when that collapses inward, and it's more on the left side than the right side, but when that collapses inward, it causes a strain on the ligaments and tendons, and it goes all the way up and puts a twist on my knee, and it goes up to my hip. So after wearing these sandals that are my favorite, maybe a few weeks, I start experiencing knee pain. And it takes me probably about four to six weeks to rebuild the muscles because of the damage that I caused personally from choosing this sandal. I wish I could stay in this sandal. I love this sandal, but I just don't have the stability in my ankle on the left side to be able to tolerate this for a long period of time. So if I'm walking around the house or something and I'm not flared up and I'm eating well and I'm not eating too much sugar, I'm not under too much stress and I'm, um, and I'm sleeping well, 
I might be able to wear these for a few days without any problems, but anything after that, by the end of the summer or middle of the summer, I have knee pain and I have ankle pain. And guys, what is happening when I wear this, when I love it, is just what I've been explaining in all of these videos. I actually am causing a problem because my body is helping me to wear these allowing me to walk and do the things I want to do, but on the back end, my body's working extra hard to be able to compensate for the fact that I don't have the mobility in my ankle, I don't have the stability in my ankle, and I'm placing stress on my ankle and my forefoot and my knee and my hip and my back when I wear these. So you might think wearing these for a few weeks is okay, but what you're doing is actually causing a deconditioning cycle in many of your joints and this can lead to further deterioration and degeneration. So even though these feel good, this isn't a good choice. So I want to break down a couple of other shoes that I have and you need to understand over pronation and if you have a stretch mobility coach near you, I definitely get in and have them take a look at your feet, your knees, if you have any aches or, or tightness in those areas because it can lead you down the path of dysfunction that can ultimately lead to degenerative changes, arthritis, and total knee replacements, hip replacements, and God forbid an ankle replacement. We're seeing more and more of those. Okay, these are very, very old sandals. They're not my favorite. They have, if you see here, an arch in here. And this will actually, this is a great sandal if you have symptoms right now and your knee is bothering you and you have overpronated too long. This will actually help to heal and take the inflammation away from the knee. But the problem this is gonna cause is it's going to stop your foot from rotating in a triplanar motion like it's supposed to. And when you stop that, you actually can cause a problem and a dysfunction. But for those of you who are experiencing knee pain right now, Vionic offers a very good sandal that has neutral, corrective, and over-corrective um, sandals that can decrease that. So if you, I wear these when I have flared my knee up and I need to stop the overpronation and take the inflammation down. But then I know I have to work harder to rebuild the strength of my ankles and my knee and my hip and my back when I'm wearing the wrong sandal. And this is not a solution that is long-term. This is a temporary fix that it is external that will, if you have pain, decrease it a little bit, but it won't fix the problem that's already caused by damage that is from damage in your ankle or your knee. Now, a good flat shoe that I do like is Soft brand. I, actually, I buy a lot of their products. They're very soft. They do allow me to not over pronate too much so that I don't have to wear an orthotic or wear a bulky shoe. And these are a cute little shoe. They are a neutral and they don't have a corrective insert in them, but I can wear those instead of wearing those flat little cute tennis shoes that have no support at all. This has just a little bit here for the arch. It's not a whole lot. Guys, I highly recommend when you're looking at shoes and your pain is in the knee or the ankles, it's a complex solution. It's not as easy as putting an insert in a shoe that will not fix you. That just modifies the way that you walk so that you don't put extra damage or cause extra damage to your joints. You really, when you're starting down that avenue to go find orthopedic shoe, it means that there's a problem that needs to be addressed and it's a pretty comprehensive problem. And the only the only solution that we have out there right now is a specialist and don't go towards surgery. Gosh, don't go down that route, but a stretch mobility coach can really help you rebuild that so that you can stay away from those bulky shoes. I wanted to just kind of bring up the fact that shoes play a role in a potential ongoing problem with knee pain, hip pain, foot pain. And if you're wearing an unsupportive sandal because you like them and because they feel good, and you do experience some ankle pain or you do experience some knee pain, guys, get over to a stretch mobility coach as soon as possible and they can get you out of that deconditioning cycle so that the damage doesn't set in that will lead to arthritis. Guys, if this goes untreated, 
it leads you down the path of arthritis, degenerative conditions that lead you on a direct path to injections and other treatments that are only going to manage your pain. If you look at a stretch mobility coach, we can help you find out what you need to do temporarily to decrease the pain, and then we will help you turn off that deconditioning cycle and rebuild the muscle so that you have stability, so you don't have foot pain, so you don't have knee pain and things like that. Guys, I hope this information was truly helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me on the show today, and please share this information out to as many people that you can so that we can help people avoid surgery and avoid arthritis and other degenerative conditions by rebuilding the systems that need to be rebuilt. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon.